after our time and almost an equal time after the great thermonuclear galactic wars that would end the 25th century. The residue of these galactic wars is a chalky white substance which blows tiny granules through the air like old powdered bones. The play is set next to a dried up riverbed, the Arroyo Seco. The planet Earth has lost the wars. The planet Earth is as shriveled and desiccated as a terminally sick being. In this world, any semblance of recognizable government has been wiped out hundreds of years ago. The remaining survivors of the wars live a jail-like existence where protectors are required for survival. In this play, Mark is Luke's protector. Disguise your voice, but not your hands. What makes you so late? Boys are inquisitive, aren't they? <laughs> Why? Why? I, I wasn't late. If you turn around, you can see me sitting right there, behind you. Why? But to myself, it could be the last time I'll observe him sitting here waiting for me. You planning to go away? S somewhere without me? <laughs> Make a departure from you. From this precipice over the Eroyo Seco, this, this desolation so beautiful through the continual screen provided by the chalky white substance in the air. <laughs> no, I'm making no departure. How do I know that you're not? A secret departure? What, I not mentioning you? Don't you know departures can be made without warning? You don't say you're going, you don't even know you're going. Then you're gone. Life's full of sudden departures. What a pity death isn't. Don't pull that cowl over your face. It protects my eyes from the dust, always blowing. Blowing constantly from where? The shrinking arts of Desmond Paramount. In our part of it, the vicinity here, well, most of the chalky white sand is provided by the year I was like, down there. Well, I've heard that once, a few hundred years ago, there was a river in it. It's nothing dry and dustier than an old air oil that once had a river that's now dried up. I thought you admired my eyes for being so clear, not inflamed. This evening, let me have a long look at your face. Mm. Memorize it as if I might never be going to see it again. You said you weren't going away, <coughs> and I told you I wasn't either. I still don't understand why you kept me waiting here while we were right back there all that time. You learn a great deal about somebody you care for by observing him without him knowing you are. You notice whether he waits indifferently or, or with increasing concern as it gets later. <laughs> you learn many things you never know otherwise. What did you observe you didn't already know? Oh, I'm more tension in you as the sky starts to fade. You know I'm afraid of the dark when I'm alone at night. If it had gotten a bit darker, I would have started home and missed our meeting. Fear. That's a bad thing to feel. A natural thing to feel. Now that women are so much fewer than men, there are bands of no mans that will seize a boy after dark. No! To... Ravage him! And when the lusts are satiated, they leave no witness, just the lifeless body. Oh. Hang back. of your skin underneath the rope. Not granulated at all by the chalky white substance in the air. I know you like the touch of smooth skin, so I keep mine smooth for your pleasure. How do you do that? Before I go to meet you here, I 
I bathed myself, and then immediately I put on my robe. You bathed once before you come to meet me, not just at night as the regime orders us to do. I bathe twice, once for you, and then get at night, Mark. Bathe twice. Did you say twice? But that would mean you disregard the water restrictions as if they didn't exist. You know, this confirms my suspicions that you have another protector, one in a high position in the regime. You little cheater. Yes, you get by by letting the water restrictions because you give yourself that night to someone who grew power amongst the authorities. I never had more than one protector at a time. That one protector now is you. Before me, you had others. They were necessary. I, I hardly remember my parents. <coughs> I'll tell you something that'll amuse you. On the wall of my place, I have a colored picture of the lady that was called the Madonna. Those old mythological pictures are a rarity now. They could be sold to the regime for special privileges, you know. I'd rather keep the picture on my wall. I had a protector. When I woke up one morning, he was standing there, staring at the picture. He said, is this your mother? <laughs> I thought that the Madonna was your mother. The, the funny thing, I said, yes, that is, that <laughs> was my mother. <laughs> Women were a comfort. Why are they disappearing? I, do they succumb more quickly to the chalk all about us now? The Earth's not able to support a shrinking population. There's little food and less water. I've heard that a man will use a woman for a while, but then when she's no longer desirable to him, he's very likely to destroy her. You see, Luke, battle that happened between people so long ago it's barely recorded. I understand it had a uh, brutalizing effect. Do you understand me? Brutalizing? <laughs> Opposite effect from the care of a Madonna. So that now we have only each other. Have I told you I have a woman at home? A mother? A, a Madonna? <laughs> no. What remains of a girl? The remnant of her is too much. I'm not able now to excite me or even to serve. Only to stagger about looking more and more frightened. I suspect she knows. You suspect she knows what? That withering, frightened look. The choking sounds at night. From the disease? She hasn't? She's breathed too much of the chalk. I think she knows that soon it will be uh, necessary for me to relieve myself of her presence in my place. I don't think she'll do that. And no, I mean, you couldn't do that. You haven't sat for an hour, observing me waiting for you, and so you know me less. Since I know you completely already. Are you sure that you do? I feel secure with you, Mark. And as for the woman you never mentioned before, have you told her about us? I say nothing. Nothing to her now, but, oh, are you still here? Go lie down in that corner over there. Don't cop. Don't call toward me. You're making all this up. I, I know it's not true. You know so little, boy. <laughs> you know dangerously little. You don't know enough to distrust. Oh, I distrust them all, except you, Mark. That, that might be a mistake. The worn-out girl at my place, she uh, trusted me once, as you do now. But when I go home tonight, 
I mean, if she's still there, out she'll go. Throw the door open and cast her living and dead body out into the wind she can't stand against that wall. Sweep her away and bury her in white dust. So, no, don't trust. So, you said you bathe twice a day. Once before you come to Maine, and once again at night, violating the water restrictions. Well, I was very young. Younger than now. A little more than a child. I had a protector, my first, who was very clever, very wise at secret mechanical things. Did I say that right? Perfectly. Go on. Well, one day he put his ear to the earth. Oh. In or out of the house? Both in and out. And he discovered, not far under the earth, running under the house, there was water. He said a stream of it. Not wide, not deep, but oh. <laughs> he was a strong man. He dug and dug down to it. And he built steps down the stone. But when the house is uh, inspected by the authority. Inspectors? No. You see, the opening to the steps is covered over with an old, dry animal skin. And even if the inspectors look under this ragged leather, <laughs> you know their eyes are bad, half blinded by the chalk. <laughs> they wouldn't notice the width of the cracks. <laughs> but what you can lift the cover to an underground spring of water. How very foolish of you. He did it all, not I. But he's gone now. And you have it all to yourself. For your own private, any legal use. You are not at all wise. Well, I must live, and to live I must But clean. you mustn't talk about it. Of course not. No, we... No, not even to me. Because by talking about it, with me you make me a conspirator with you. As criminal as you are, oh, I would bear the same penalty you, you know, would, knowing what you've told me, and not informing. Whom would you inform? Inform the ones you inform to. The authorities, the rulers of the regime. <laughs> yeah, you believe that story? <laughs> I mean, you didn't know it was all made up? <laughs> Just an invention. Like yours about the woman and what you'll do for <laughs> tonight. <sighs> that was no invention. Now there was what you told me about the underground spring. You're holding me so tight, it's hard to breathe. You're a light-footed boy. You might suddenly spring up and take to your heels. From heels? Of course. Now that you realize you've made such a dangerous mistake. I suspected something. Now I know. But I know something too. What? You've told me how completely you love me. Something I also told the woman, when she was desirable to me. She doesn't still attract you. I do. Don't I? You put in my possession a secret that to keep from the authorities that expose me to the same penalty that you're exposed to. You even know what such penalties are. A term of a long, long, long term. And even if you're alive when it expires, oh, you would be unrecognizable, Luke. I'd be disfigured, you mean? By more than time. By more than the terminal effect of a chalky white substance. What are you? Why are you doing this? I must deliver you to them. I repeat your confession. And receive the bounty. Did you know there's a bounty offered? 
returning in someone who violates the laws. Restrictions. <laughs> Authorities regard him with more respect. He's given the title sometimes. And his licenses are extended. Inspectors pay his house a respectful visit. They smile at him and they say the place needs improvements in keeping with your new position. We'll see to that right away. The stories are vicious. I understand that's always been their nature. The four people of the earth divided into what? Two? Three hostile parts of the battle for ownership in the room? <sighs> Tell me. Who won? Huh? Nobody! Oh, did you hear that? Do you know what that was? As if someone called back? That was an echo. So many of the old words that fall out of use are unknown anymore. The authorities are corrupt. We don't have to imitate them. <laughs> the save our skins, we do. Would they still be worth saving? Oh. Mm. I understand that there used to be considerations called morals. <clears throat> and for these considerations, <clears throat> oh, oh, thanks to the betrayal of so many love, we'd be held in contempt. <laughs> <laughs> Creation. <laughs> <Not> Earth. <laughs> <laughs> 